Hey guys, I hope you all are all having an awesome day today. So I have just arrived at the thrift store. I just got off of work and then I stopped by the post office and now I am here at the thrift store. It is a really cloudy, rainy day outside and the first day of fall is this Sunday. So I am really feeling the need to find some cozy sweaters and jackets and that sort of thing. So that is what I am on the lookout for today. I thought it would be fun just to take you along with me while I actually thrift shop and then show you a haul whenever I'm done, provided that I actually find some good things. But I have a good feeling that we're going to find some good things. I think it's early enough in the season because it's still been about like 90 degrees here um, that people won't really have picked over the fall stuff too much. That's what I'm hoping. So I'm going to go check it out. And then I also asked you guys over on Instagram to let me know if you had any questions about thrifting. So I might throw some of that in. So we'll just see what this ends up as. And, and then I'll see if I feel comfortable enough talking to the camera while I'm actually in the thrift store, but we'll see. Um, this is just Goodwill that I'm at today. So I'm going to go check it out and see what there is. So let's go. Balancing on a weary line Too scared to trust you and jump down I'll keep my status quo up here Won't let anybody come near I'll fix it on my own 29 years I've been the same Trying so hard to run from shame Okay, so I am back in my car. It was crazy in there. I have not seen Goodwill that busy in a really long time. I think a lot of people were shopping for Halloween actually, which is kind of early. Um, and don't worry, I'm not actually gonna drive away with my phone in front of my speedometer and all of that. But um, I didn't find that much. I found four different things. So I think what I might do is continue this tomorrow and go to one of the other Goodwills so that I have just a little bit more to talk about. It was interesting because a couple of the questions on Instagram were like, what brands do you look for and do you try everything on? And it was so busy that I was like, I really don't wanna try everything on, but I did. Um, and then I also ended up getting a couple of things from brands that I normally don't get at the thrift store. So I usually skip over um, more fast fashion brands because the quality is not as good, but I found this Forever 21 shirt that the color was really pretty, so I really liked that, so I got that. And then I also got a Target brand blazer. I was super bummed out because I found these two really pretty camel wool blazers, but the arms were too short on both of them. I was so annoyed by that because I just have really long arms, and so shirts and jackets usually are a little bit short on me, but the Target one fit really well, and it's a really cool um, plaid that I think will look really pretty with some fall stuff, so I'm excited to play around with that. Um, but yeah, I am pretty happy with what I found. Not exactly what I had in mind, but it never is, so I think I will go to the other Goodwill nearby tomorrow and check that out. But for now, I think I'm going to run and get a Starbucks and then head home for the night and hopefully enjoy a nice stormy evening. I was going to wash my car today and I'm really glad I didn't because it would have been all messed up by the rain anyway. So yeah, that is it for now. Oh, also, you may have seen a couple of clips of Titanic VHSs. I play a game whenever I go to a thrift store or a vintage market or anything like that. How many Titanic VHSs? just sets can you find so it's like a real throwback to my childhood but I found two today there may have been more but I only saw two so that's a fun thing to do if you're ever at the thrift store or something like that look for like the VHS's of your youth it's very um, nostalgic so I enjoyed that but yeah I'm gonna go home for now and I will talk to you soon hi guys so it is the next day and I am at the other Goodwill today I have two cute sisters in tow they're home for the weekend Say hi. Hello. Hey. This is Keely. This is Felicity. I think they've been in videos before, but I don't know if you guys really remember them. Um, so it's been about a month since I've been to this Goodwill. I'm actually wearing one of the shirts I got yesterday that you would have seen. And um, so we are here to find some fall clothes. What are you guys hoping to find today? Anything specifically? Well, I got this last time I went thrifting and I wouldn't mind finding a few more. Oh, nice. So flannels. Felicity? Mm -hmm. Probably just like sweaters. Sweaters. Mm -hmm. Cozy. <laughs> So, so dramatic. I'm really, I want to find um, like a cardigan. That was something I was trying to find yesterday that I couldn't. So hopefully it's not as picked over today. This one's crowded too. The one yesterday was really crowded and I'm hoping that this will be not too bad. This one's a little bit smaller, but it's a little bit more curated, I yeah. guess you could say. It's newer. So we will see. It's another rainy day. It's actually the first day of fall today. I said yesterday in the video that I thought Sunday was the first day to fall, but today is, and it's really cool and rainy and crisp outside. I've got my cinnamon color shirt on. We've all got fall 
themed things. I broke out the boots today, so I'm really happy. I'm feeling it. So we're gonna go see what we find. It is a beautiful day for the first day of fall. Wave. <laughs> Cute. Let's go. Our cart is like a solid mass. The Titanic. Titanic? No? No, I don't think so. Not so far. We do have the six VHS Pride and Prejudice. So we're done. Oh. So, oh, copyright, copyright. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're done. Let's we'll see, where are you? Right here. How did you guys feel about your Goodwill shopping? It was great. How many things did you find? Five. Two. And I think I found five. And then I also found some dishes for my mom that are the dishes that she has. So, you know, score. Um, broke a lot of those when I was a kid, so it's good to replace them <laughs> now. Um, but I think we're just gonna head home and then I will show you guys later what I found um, Maybe I can rope them into doing a haul with me sometime probably not this time because they've got to go back to school before I'll be able to film it I think but maybe sometime we can do a haul together. Mm. All right, so that's it for now. Say bye guys. Bye, bye. <laughs> So it's a couple of days later actually and I'm finally getting around to filming the whole part of this video. So I have the stuff here that I got when I was thrifting the past couple of days and I'm just going to go through everything really quickly and show you what I got. I'll also try it on and include clips of what everything looks like and how I'll style it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to start out, I got mostly tops, so it's like tops, sweaters, cardigans, jackets, that kind of thing. So I'm going to start out with the cardigans and jackets and show you what I found. So I got two cardigans and I had really been looking for some really basic cardigans that would go with a lot of different outfits, some really neutral colors. And the first one I found is this one which is open in the front and it's this really soft knit. This is from the brand Ann Taylor Loft. I really like this. It's very comfortable. It's a little bit more of a lightweight sweater. And the back has this really nice and waffle knit type of detail. So I like the mix of textures. And I really like how this one fits. I wore it a couple of days ago with a black jumpsuit and I thought that looked really cute. So I think I'll definitely be styling this one a lot of different ways. And I really like how soft and drapey the material on this one is. I would say this is a little bit more of like a dressy and elevated cardigan, but I really like it and I think I'll definitely wear it a lot. I would describe this color as an oatmeal color. It's kind of between gray and cream, which I really like. I found that I usually gravitate towards buying a lot of gray, but I don't look my best in gray. I look a little better in something warmer. So I was looking for more like cream and oatmeal type of colors. And I'm really happy with this one. This next cardigan may not be everyone's cup of tea, but to me it just looks really vintage and classic and kind of old world. I really like it. It's a cotton knit and it's really thick and chunky. And it closes in the front with one button and it almost has like a sailor collar, which is very like 80s, 90s, and also like 20s, 30s. So I really like that. Um, and it has these panels on the side again with that different texture which I really like. So this is more of a chunky cozy cardigan. This feels a little bit more casual to me and like something all the way around the house a lot. Um, but I think it will definitely look really cute with a bunch of different outfits. I'm excited to style this one and just see how it goes. The collar is definitely a bit different so I think it'll be fun to play around with and I really like it. And then I got one jacket. I was looking for a blazer because I've seen so many people on Instagram wearing blazers recently over the past year and I really thought that would be a great thing to thrift because they're really easy to find at the thrift store. I had in my head that I was going to get like a camel blazer that was solid colored. I tried a few on but none of them fit quite right. You may have seen in the vlogging clips but I did find this one which is plaid. This is actually Target brand which I usually don't buy at Goodwill just because I think it's not the best quality but this actually has wool in the fiber content which is really nice. 
And I just really liked the plaid of it and the sleeves were actually long enough for me. I have really long arms and so a lot of times on coats and jackets I find that the sleeves are a bit short and this one actually wasn't so I was really happy about that. It's this blue and almost like burnt orange plaid which is a little bit different but I just see this looking so cute with like a beret for fall with a really fitted shirt and some um, high-waisted jeans. That's kind of what I have in my head for how I'll wear it. I had watched the, um, oh, what's it called, the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, is that the full name, on Netflix recently, and I love how she's always wearing tweed and those really structured pieces, and so this may have been influenced a little bit by watching that, but I'm really excited to style it. It's something different, so I think it'll be fun. Okay, next I have a couple of t-shirts and tops. The first one is a flannel. This is actually just by H&M brand, and I, again, usually don't buy Target, H&M, or Forever 21 at the thrift store, but this time I did all three, so breaking my own rules a little bit, but these pieces all felt really nice, so um, I just went for it. I love the colors of this flannel because it doesn't scream plaid flannel shirt. I think it's a little bit more understated. It's a black or charcoal gray, and then on this cream, which I think is so nice, and it's very soft. And I absolutely love the fit of this flannel shirt. It has a little bit of a longer back and just some really nice detailing that makes it look a little more elevated, like I was saying. So I'm really into this one. I'm excited to wear it a lot this fall. I think it'll look great with just some black boots and some jeans. I really like this one. I'm excited to have found it. It's really soft and comfortable. This next piece is super basic. This is just a really fitted, cream-colored t-shirt with three-quarter length sleeves, and it's a super soft knit. I love things like this for what I would call like a base layer, so I would tuck this into my jeans and wear it underneath jackets or different things like that. It's just very understated, very tight fitting, and you don't really notice it very much, but it's a great basic to have, and this is such a high quality knit, and the color is really nice, so I was excited to find this one. I usually skip over the kind of white t-shirt type of section at Goodwill because a lot of times things will be stained or just not in the best condition, but this felt brand new um, and didn't really look like it had been worn, so excited to find that one. This next piece may be my favorite thing I found, which is funny because it's such a just random piece. It is a t-shirt and it's this beautiful, I would call this like a cinnamon color. It's like a red, orange, brown kind of mix and I just love this color. It wraps in the front and does this really cool detail where it looks like it's tucked in and then it's a little bit longer in the back and I just think this is so flattering and pretty and I'm really enjoying wearing it just with jeans and boots, kind of like what I'm saying with a lot of this stuff, um, but I think it just looks very autumnal and I really, really like it. I definitely think I'll be wearing it a lot this fall. I think it actually will look really good with that blazer as well, so I'm excited to find some different ways to style this. I think it'll be a good basic. You could also tuck it in with like a skirt or something, really high-waisted, and just keep that wrap look going. It's almost like a ballet style top, and the color is just so pretty, it just screams autumn to me, so I'm excited about that one also. Okay, so the last group of things are sweaters. So I got a few different sweaters, and they didn't have a ton out yet. I think they may be waiting a little bit later in the season to put the sweaters out, but I got a few. And this first one is a turtleneck sweater by um, Ralph Lauren. I really like the way it fits. It's a turtleneck, and then this is actually a size extra large, so it fits me a little bit more baggy. And I like tucking it in to jeans and just getting that kind of classic Parisian style look. I'm excited to have a striped turtleneck sweater like this because, as you can see, I wear black and white stripes all the time. And that type of look in the spring and summer I usually get with a t-shirt, but I think a turtleneck sweater will be a great way to transition that into the fall. And I can see this looking great with a bunch of different jackets and things like that. So I'm excited to wear that one. And then I got two kind of chunkier knits. The first one is this beautiful pale pink sweater. I love this. It's so soft and it's got this lovely texture on the front and then these ribbed sleeves and a mock neck which is what I was looking for when I was looking for sweaters. I like that look a lot. And this is by the brand Croft & Barrow. I think it is pretty old. I think it might be like 80s or 90s. Um, and the way I will wear this is probably tuck it in because it's a bit longer. I usually tuck my sweaters in so they don't have such a shapeless kind of look to them but they're cute oversized as well. It just depends on your style. 
And I just think this is a great knit and I love the color. I wear a lot of pink, so this was a really nice one to find. It's really good quality. It did have a couple of marks on the collar, but those came out when I cleaned it, so that was good to see. I kind of took a chance on it because you never quite know when you're getting something at Goodwill if it's going to come out in the wash or not, but I really liked this one, so I decided to chance it and it cleaned up really nicely, so I'm excited to wear this one. And then this last one may be my favorite thing that I got. It is so thick and cozy. I just love it. It's so chunky this is a sweater and I believe this is by the brand lululemon and it's got long sleeves and it's really oversized very long and then also kind of a roll mock neck I think this is actually backwards but I just love how cozy and warm it is it's definitely not cool enough to wear this yet but I'm really excited to wear it once it is and I really like this color as well this kind of teal green it's something a little bit different for me but I think it's really pretty I think I'll wear it with black jeans probably and black boots kind of all black and then this color let it kind of stand out so I think that'll be really cool. I'm excited to style this when I'm really wanting to just wear all these cozy sweaters already but it's definitely not quite cold enough yet. It's only in the 60s so we'll let it get a little bit colder but at least I'm prepared once the cold does hit. Alright guys, so that is everything that I got and that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this format, something a little bit different with the vlog clips and that type of thing so let me know if you like that because I can work on trying to incorporate that a little bit more into my future thrifting hauls and videos. Um, it might be fun to just kind of mix it up a little bit into something different not just me sitting here talking to you all the time but I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got. I'm really excited about all these pieces like I said a hundred times so I am looking forward to styling them and you'll definitely see them in some upcoming outfit videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like thrifting and you like wardrobe and things like that, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and you can do that by pushing the red button beneath this video. That would really help me out and it would mean a lot to me. And leave a comment letting me know what your favorite thing that I got was. I would love to hear that and just hear your opinions. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!